Hey guys, what's up? Bernard Vasquez here. On this video, I'm going to show you how to track everything online. Now, listen me out here before I get the whole fancy intro, you know, the <laughs> intro. Let me tell you why you need to track. If you're doing PPC, if you're doing SEO, and if you do not know where your money is coming from, you're screwed. Okay, you will be pissing money, you will be pissing time. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to create those tracking uh, URLs that will allow you to actually go out there and track whether a PPC campaign is profitable, whether your uh, people that come from SEO, from social interaction, whatever, are actually converting, etc. okay? So that's why you wanna check this video out and now we can get into the window. Hey guys, what's up, Hernan Vasquez here. Uh, sorry about the rant yesterday. Let me put this monitor back on. Um, sorry about the rant um, earlier, but I wanted to make real clear why you need to track everything online. Now, when you're putting out your own uh, website, your own projects, your own products, it can be really ugly, really quick because you're, you know, you're growing, you're expanding, you want to create as many sources of traffic as possible. All right, so I'm gonna leave a guide below that you can download, it's completely for free, and it will show you my top five traffic sources that brought around 6,000 visitors for free to my website, all right? Now, when you're over that stage and you want to really scale and you do not know where your traffic is coming from, you do not know where the cells are coming from. You do not know, you know, which kind of efforts are bringing the more results. This is like the 80-20 principle, okay? If you're not familiar with the 80-20 principle, the 20% of your efforts will bring you 80% of your results. The 20% of your traffic sources will bring you 80% of the sales. The 20% of the articles that are on your website will give you 80% of the traffic. The 20% of the campaigns that you're running will bring 80% of the revenue and so on and so forth. And you need to really understand that 20% that's bringing you 80% of the results. And one of the best ways I know, guys, and probably you have another, but the best ways I know is to track where your traffic is coming from, which kind of campaign you're running, and which kind of banners they are clicking in, etc. okay? It doesn't have to be complicated at all. I'm gonna show you two tools, one free, one for paid, but I'm gonna do that on the computer screen, okay? So stop watching at my Facebook campaigns and watch in me in my eyes, okay? Watch me in the eye. Do not try to replicate this. This is complicated. <laughs> but then again, let's jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you how to create tracking links that you can actually track and that you can actually decide on where to scale and where to put more effort, etc. okay? So let's hop, into, let's hop into the computer and I'll show you just that. All right, guys, let me show you real quick how to create your own uh, tracking URLs because now probably you already know the importance of tracking, okay? If you're not tracking whatever you're building, if you're not tracking whatever you're, you're building online, and you know, it, it becomes, at some point it becomes really cumbersome to really know and hone down which kind of traffic sources are, are working better. Where are you getting those clicks? Where are you getting those, um, th those cells, etc. okay? So I'm gonna show you two tools right now, one, is Google Analytics, which is completely for free, and the other one is Improvely, which is paid, but I think it's way easier than Google Analy Analytics. It's like a no-brainer to track. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples real quick, but let me first show you how I got to this page. It's as simple as going to Google. If you go to Google and say, Google UTM generator or Google UTM uh, creator, Google Analytics UTM builder, there are a bunch of, of ways that you can search for this term. But let's just go like this, okay? So let me show you real quick. Sorry, that was not the link. Let me show you real quick. I'm gonna put this in English so that you can understand what the fuck this page is saying because otherwise you won't understand shit. So here we go. URL builder, okay? If it says URL builder, you're probably in the right place, okay? So here are a bunch of boring explanations on how to use it. And it's super, super straightforward, okay? It's super, super straightforward. So let's say that I want to track, you know, I'm, I'm here on my blog and let's say that which will come in, you know, I could come with a new update at any time soon. But anyways, um, let's say that I want to send traffic to my blog. All right. And I'm posting on forums. All right. And I want to I, I want to track those forum links because I want to track exactly where those people are coming from. 
or I'm posting, you know, I'm making a PPC campaign, whatever. It doesn't really matter. What I'm trying to convey here is the kind of URL that you can uh, build real quick. Okay, so here's gonna be the website URL, which is gonna be, of course, blog.ernonvasquez.com. Here we go. And here you can add a bunch of different data. There are some that are necessary or required. There are some that are optional, but they will give you some more insights. All right, guys. So let's go into the campaign source. For example, let's say uh, Warrior Forum. Okay. Campaign medium is going to be a banner. Okay. Let's put it signature banner because I could even go ahead and purchase a Warrior Forum banner and see how, how well this is performing. So the campaign terms, I'm going to leave it blank because there aren't any terms right now. Campaign content, I could say helpful uh, threats. Okay. And the campaign name is going to be something like, I don't know, Forum Promo. All right, so this will tell me that this is the uh, the traffic source. This is the medium. Okay, they are clicking on the banner because I could also leave a link on the forum on the thread itself. Okay, but this is not the case. It's going to be for the banner. And then, you know, it's going to be all over the helpful threads that I make on World Forum. And then it's going to be the forum promo. Okay, you can put whatever. So here I'm going to click on generate URL and this is the URL that you want to note down. Okay, so let me put it here real quick. Boom. This is the URL that you will use to link from this banner to your website. Instead of just putting this nude link right here, boom, you will use this URL because this is tagged. Okay, this will give you the UTM source, the medium, the content, and the campaign. Okay, and if I add it, like a keyword or something, it will also show up there. Now what this will do is, if I click on this, all right, if I, if I click on this, let me, boom, let me show you real quick. If I put it there, it's gonna go into my blog, of course, okay? So it's not gonna show anything to the visitor itself. Now what we're doing here is to feed um, data into Google Analytics. All right, so if you don't have Google Analytics, go ahead, don't be fucking lazy and install Google Analytics. It's super easy and if you do not know how to install it, go ahead and ask for somebody to do that, okay? It's like a no-brainer to install and it's free. So, every time somebody clicks on this in your signature banner, it's gonna go to your blog and you're gonna know that that visitor came from Warrior Forum via your signature banner thanks to a helpful thread that you made with the campaign forum promo. So you will know that this campaign is working, at least in terms of traffic. So let me show you how that looks on, uh, let me show you how that looks on analytics. Let's see if it's showing right now. Yeah, let's see if it's showing right now. Boom, today. So let's see if I go to Google Analytics. And if I see the overview, referral, let's see what we got. No, okay, it's not showing. Oh, because this is Ernambasquez.com, not the blog. All right, so let me show you how this would look on Google Analytics for another project. So let's go into my Spanish project real quick. Um, boom. Sorry, but Google about Analytics just changed the interface and I'm still getting used to it. But Here's the deal, okay? So sisue.com is my Spanish project. Let's go to, I don't know, let's go to August maybe. So here as you can see are the, the um, let's go to the overview of the audience so that you can know I'm, what I'm talking about. So here, you know, it's all the data that you will get from Google Analytic, Analytics. So if you do not have this, go ahead and install it. I'm not, I'm not gonna dive much into this, maybe for another video, but here what you wanna do is to go to acquisition and here click on overview and here's going to tell you all of the different channels that you're using okay with the bounce rate and conversions in case that you have these conversions set up so as you can see guys the campaigns that I'm doing on social are getting a high bounce rate but but here's the deal they are getting a really high conversion so I'm converting around 20 um, 18 percent from social traffic all right, organic search is convert, converting shit. Referral, maybe we're converting 10%, which is decent, all right? So it will depend on the conversion goal, which is a subscriptor on this, on this side. But you do not need to set up conversions. Just let me show you 
what I'm meaning here. So here, you know, the social is gonna be, you know, Facebook because we're doing some Facebook ads, whatever. But here, this is where the tracking starts. So email, all right? So email is gonna be another traffic source. So as you can see here, I have different landing pages for the email campaigns that I'm doing, okay? So as you can see, we have a SEO mini course, boom, 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 and people are landing there. You know, we're, they are landing on our uh, weekly SEO Q&A that we do in Spanish. So as you can see, you know, people are landing on the SEO uh, course, etc., etc., etc. All right, guys? So as you can see, you can see that you know, you, we probably sent an email campaign June 14, June 28, etc. All right. So you need to set up conversions. You need to set up these UTMs, which in you know initially they will tell you what kind of information you can manage here. Okay. Now let me show you a really cool and simpler tool than Google Analytics. Google Analytics is like a must because it's free. So go ahead and install it like after you finish watching this video. But let me show you another tool that it's super super cool which is called Improvely alright and it's guys it's like super inexpensive okay if you wanna track everything like a pro and you wanna you know yeah, yeah, you really want to become ninja here you know for Google AdWords, Facebook ads, whatever you know Twitter ads, ad roll etc it's super inexpensive I don't even know how much is this but you know it's super inexpensive to start you know you can track 10,000 visitors a month for 30 bucks okay and it's super worth it it's super worth it because it's installed like in a cinch. All right, guys. So let me show you how it looks. This is for Semantic Mastery, another project of mine. And let me show you how it looks. So for example, let's see that I want to go to the report. All right. So I can see that the organic traffic is actually winning because we're not doing any Facebook ads or whatever on this. So the organic traffic is actually winning on this. Okay. So I have the conversions here set up with Improvely. So I have three kinds of conversions a lead, a sell, and an upsell. So the leads are growing, all right, because we're doing some webinars and whatnot. Now, what I could do also is to set up tracking links, okay? So I could do the tracking links. Well, let me show you uh, custom range. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, boom, okay, so here we go. And here, as you can see, we were having, you know, some other conversions rate and whatnot. So here's the deal, menu one. This is just the menu link that we have on semanticmastery.com, the top menu bar, and you will see that we have this menu. This is being tracked, okay? This is being tracked, and this has a 78 conversion rate, which is kind of crazy, okay? And even, I, I, I even think this is kind of a bit odd. But anyways, you know, I can track how many conversions and clicks and visits I'm getting from a menu link, from an email, okay? If I'm sending emails, how many conversions rate I'm getting, all right so as you can see the Facebook ads if I'm doing Facebook ads I can track them here and it's super simple you know it's like creating let's create a new tracking link or create a new tracking link. boom okay so I'll put the landing page URL and this is you know this is super similar to what we saw before okay source campaign name, medium and content it will allow you to put some CPC if you already know it or a monthly payment let's say that you purchase a banner and you're paying a hundred bucks per, per month you would put it here and here it will allow you to set up the link and where you want to send it etc okay so it's super simple and it will instantly uh, install like in a couple of minutes because all you need to do is to let me show you all you need to do is to um, where the fuck is it so all you need to do is to go to settings and here you would get this project website code you will install this on every page of your project and then you have the conversion codes okay so this is going to be on the thank you page all right super simple super straightforward no goals no nothing it's super straightforward and i'm using it for you know pretty much all of my clients all of my everything okay so improvely if you want a really seamless integration with pretty much anything and you need you really need to track where your money is coming from or you have the free version which is analytics and you need to become a little bit ninja to manage this but it works okay guys it works all right so this is how you track every visitor from every traffic source that you can possibly build and you can also use this to create internal backlinks so for example or internal call to action so for example I have this right here and I have a banner, all right? And as you can see here, if you look to the top left of my 
screen, you will see that it's an improved link. All right, it's an improved link right here. So if I click here, it's gonna take me. This is improved link. Boom. It's gonna take me to the opt-in page that I'm giving away these five traffic sources, etc. Okay, so you can check it out. You can. It's it's super super valuable. This guide, in my opinion, not because I made it, but because I pour a decent amount of content in there. But I'm tracking how many visitors I'm getting from this banner right here and how many conversions. So I know if I need to keep it, if I need to switch it, if I can split test, you know, it can go deep into a rabbit hole, but you need to have information to run your online business. That's the beauty, in my opinion, of running an online business that you can track every single step of your uh, funnel. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Once again, if you have any comments whatsoever, please rate with a thumbs up, subscribe if you like this and leave me a comment below to see what you guys want to hear next. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.